What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to Learner Gamer Squad channel. I go by Jay, and today we're going over the best legends in Apex Legends. Now, first and foremost, I am not the most cracked player at Apex, but I do have a ton of information that I feel like will help out new players come in into the game, especially with like, you know, season nine right on like around the corner. Um, with that being said, we're going to rank out the legends on the ability of, you know, how important they are or how like there's how important their skills are and how they're being used currently. Um, I'm going to go over, you know, pros, cons, you know, just how I generally feel about the character. And hopefully, you know, you agree um, or disagree. It's, and that's fine, too. And with that being said, we're going to uh, jump into our first legend, which is Bloodhound. Uh, Bloodhound, I believe, is S tier legend just based off the information um, that they are able to to give off. Uh, this was the first character I started out playing with and not on like, oh, I watched the YouTube video and said, oh, this is the top player. But, but because of how easy the character was. And for me, I was like, hey, not uh, being blind to who's in front of me sounds really great. Let me just scan out and see who's in front of me. And that kind of like helped me understand how to like, you know, take on fights, how to use my my scan to to inform my team about where people are coming from and whatnot. Um, Bloodhound is a, is a great character, like I said, before, because of the amount of information he's able to or they are able to uh to give out you can scan beacons which shows you where the next zone is at and that's critical um the scan is very critical to where you scan out to the front nobody there wait 25 seconds or 20 seconds scan behind you you can see you just have a huge tool to use to where you can see who who's around you and where they're coming from um I think the only negative I can say about Bloodhound is that uh, in his ult, it's just black and white and or black and red because the enemies are marked down in red. So you can't see any other color. You don't know what else is around you. Um, but in that case, you're using the the ult specifically just to engage fights or to get away. It has been used as a tool for me to like, hey, it's chaotic over here let me just shake the spot boom get out of here um but and that's very minor like you don't you know feel like oh that's a that's gonna stop me from playing the character no nah, bloodhounds is an amazing character uh if you're a beginner i definitely suggest you try to try to play this character just because you'll learn how to like engage with enemies and you'll learn like okay there's somebody close by i need to like you know keep my guard up next up is bang i'm gonna put bang in the b category now bang is by no means a bad character which is why they're in the b category they're not top top tier and they're definitely not down here bang has the ability to drop smokes to you know kind of like mess up your enemy's line of vision on you but also with that <laughs> you mess up your teammates line of vision on the enemy so they can't see anything um so it's very it's very uh you gotta be very careful when you use your smokes because if you're in a fight and like you're getting shot at and you pop a smoke you can kind of like mess up you know your team who's in perfect health trying to like kill somebody um but also in that same nutshell if two enemies are are like you know taking advantage of you guys you guys are being pushed and you pop a smoke it helps out to get out it's also a great cover tool for like, you know, when you have like a down teammate, you can go over there and just resin real quick. It, it has a high like amount of, you know, situations where it can be used in. However, it can also be in using, like I said, a very negative connotation. Um, I suggest that if you're playing bang, um, be careful with your smokes and probably pick up a digital threat. That's probably one and two uh with bang also she has a passive to where when she gets shot at she moves faster so also like you get great mo like mobility and that counts like when you're in the smoke as well so where you pop a smoke and you're getting shot at you start just zooming around uh so i i highly i highly recommend bang bang is a great character and this is not like no comp or nothing like that this is just me and how i view the characters uh as i you know learn the game 
Caustic. Caustic is is an interesting spot because I feel like Caustic is very map sp map specific to where on World's Edge I feel like he's a B, but in like Olympus and King's Can I feel like he's a C because there's just like you can't really utilize you know his gas and his canisters in open field and maps like he's very he, he thrives in small like quarters and small places and that's where you kind of like want caustic to like you know where we want to use a caustic and with that being said like in world's edge there is like you know tons of buildings you can like trap up a floor and be perfectly fine like you can trap up uh a building or you know a, a room really really well with caustic I personally think that currently like the kind of nerfed caustic gas a little too much like the five HP feels like it doesn't do anything. Um, I feel like people just see the gas and like push through anyway, but at the same time, it does take away five HP. So like, you know, you're still getting that damage on them to where if they do push and they want to be reckless and they're a one tap or something like that, you can probably take it like advantage of that. Um, yeah, I feel like like I say, he's map specific. I feel like the gases are, are great. You can use them as cover. You can use, use them the same way. Use a bang like smoke to where I'm going to res my enemy because or res my my teammate because the gas is up. Just be careful that they can push if they want to. Next on this list is crypto. Um, as far as ease to play, I feel like crypto's down here, not because it's a hard character to play but it's how you play crypto um personally i think cryptos that like recon abilities are better than bloodhounds and with that in that being said i'm i mean like you can scan a beacon by flying the drone you can pick up teammates banners flying the drone you can res people flying the drone and on top of that you can ping banners around the map to see who's like in your area the only thing that's bad about that is that you're flying the drone and <laughs> in a situation where like, you know, it's a three V three game and, or it's like, you know, you're in duos is two V two while you're in your drone that turns it into a two V one or three V two. And that's where it can be really difficult on playing crypto from a beginner standpoint, as you get better and you can like, you know, you learn the game, you understand like where people are coming from, you understand how to play. I would highly suggest like putting, you know, crypto probably in like the A tier because he is very, very valuable. I just think from a beginner standpoint, he's a little difficult to play and you you have to be really, really like smart about how you, you use him. Fuse. Um, yeah, I'm going to put fuse down here. I personally don't see the reason to use fuse. I get the whole like double like grenade thing but he has like nothing else i don't I, I don't get it the bombardments uh that he has is is cool it's a fire ring but it's also very situational um the two grenade things are great but that's just i i don't i don't see it i i can't i can't like give you anything on fuse because i don't feel like he's a he's a viable like option yet um and i could be completely wrong but i that's just how i feel right now uh gibby s tier gibby's also a character that uh i would kind of recommend for a beginner um because as you get better with gibby you're going to be you're going to realize why he's so cracked right now why he's a stupid character Gibby has the ability to drop a dome shield to where you can't get it's it's immediate cover right now. It protects you from other like aerial ults. So like, you know, uh, the fuse ult it protects you from another Gibby ult it protects you from uh, Bangalore ult it protects you from like it's a lot of uses, man. Like and on top of that, you can do fights in the bubble. So you can force people to run into your bubble and that can also just be cat like catastrophic for you know some people uh gibby also has an arm shield to where he doesn't uh doesn't take 
immediate damage. It it now has bleed through, which is completely uh <laughs> completely necessary because last season he was just just OP. But Gibby's a great character. Do a lot of poke damage. Um, he doesn't take a lot of damage because he has fortified. Great, great character, and I highly suggest you know you play them. Horizon, also an S tier character, just based off the ability to height. She can get up. She can get to high places. She can put her team in high places. Um, I hope they fix her whole like swerving around in the the horizon because that's just some some bullshit. But once again, an S tier character. Her ult is phenomenal. The passive of like jumping or when she lands, where she doesn't have like a a small like like stutter and she's immediately able to just run and start shooting is also very very solid um great character highly just playing her just 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 don't be a dick man don't be in your in your in your queue just with a spitfire just playing around that's just you you, you are an ass <laughs> um next up is lifeline Lifeline, I will put in the B category, um, just off of resing alone, like being able to run to a down teammate, press an X, they come back up. Granted, she's losing her shield next season, so I don't know how that's going to like really change her. Maybe, I, I don't know. We're gonna see how that works. Um, so while Lifeline may be losing her shield next season, however, she still has the ability to uh, heal people with a heal drone. The heal drone is really, really solid to where um you just got res you need that help you can tuck away in the hill drone with a bat or some shield cells and get back in the fight a little bit quicker uh, she also has the ability to drop uh care packages which have loot in them um next season is supposed to have guaranteed loot in them side and also next season uh the healing on the drone is supposed to be 60 percent faster so there's that um, Lifeline is the, is the ultimate support. You have to play Lifeline really smart to where you can't be the person to go down. You're the medic. You have to be up. Like you have to be alert. You got to pick your fights really smartly. You got to pick, you know, and choose when you want to engage with the enemy. You have to pick and choose when you want to res somebody because even that in itself, like exposes you. Um, I would say Lifeline is like, uh, she's not a easy character to play but she's also not a hard character to play like you have to she's somewhere in the middle and you have to play her very very smart um other than that though i think i think that about covers lifeline she's she's a great character just be the smarter player for sure but as far as like right now i would highly suggest lifeline as like a b maybe a c category she's the, okay i'll say c uh loba from an intro player standpoint to where you can like learn how to get your loot right and get all the guns you need i'm gonna say like a c uh as far as like as you play the game more you start realizing that loba has very glaring flaws to where um well right now her tactical is broken to where you can't even like throw that joint correctly um but everything she do is loud her ult's mad loud. People hear when you're pulling stuff. People see when you're pulling stuff. Um, granted, Loba's one of my favorite characters in the game. I think under Bloodhound, she probably has the most kills for me. And that's just because like when I was learning the game, she helped me get the loot I needed to like feel like I was ready to take on fights. And as I got better playing the game, I started realizing, like, oh, Loba's just stupid when you like are average at the game. Um, Downfalls to Loba, like I said, like late game, there's not really much use for her. Uh, if everybody already has the loot they're looking for, I, I say I think the only thing you might need her for is like, oh, we need some ammo. But other than that, like her ult doesn't help out the team like in late game situations. Um, and her tactical is just very passive, not passive, but like just it's cool for her. And her passive is just seeing loot like, OK, you can see loot, but what else can you do? Uh, next is Mirage. Mirage is a very fun character. I'll put Mirage in the B tier. Um, very good beginner character because you can use like the bamboozle effect to kind of like make people shoot at the clone and not you. Uh, Mirage also can res, can invisible res. Mirage also can invisible res on res stations. Uh, his ult comes back crazy fast. 
and the ability to like you know like i said make people shoot where they're not supposed to it's just it's it's very solid i think i was talking to the homie drew and he was like you can use him kind of like as a semi recon to where throw it a clone and if it gets shot you know where somebody's coming from if it doesn't get shot it's it's not safe but you know there there shouldn't be i mean there could be immediate danger you never know but use it how you you know if you think somebody's near you throw it out there get shot you know somebody's over there uh, octane octane is definitely my a tier right now very very fun character to play very uh also you like use a lot you're gonna see a lot of octanes when you play and that's perfectly fine but just the ability to run really fast and get out of danger great the ability to use a jump pad to jump on enemies great the fact that he has passive healing great i don't see any flaws with octane right now i think octane is like at a very high like uh pick rate right now and that's i enjoy it um path i'm just now starting to learn path so i can't really like give you too much but i will say that he's definitely higher than a c i'm gonna say hmm, he's in between a and b it's like a b plus i'll put him in the a for right now uh just the ability to use like you know a zip line to get from point a to point b not don't use a zip line to run away from somebody use the zip line to get to your next point of interest use like the zip to oh we're at this location we need to get to this location a little bit faster throw a zip get over there and just use it to help like make your rotations a lot easier um he also can scan beacons so that also shows you where the zone is at uh his <laughs> this is kind of interesting because he has like his grappling hook and i kind of use path as like i'm spider-man that's how i kind of like understood how to like utilize his movement it's like okay what would you do if you're a spider-man it's like okay i'm gonna look at this rock up here and just zip line you know but use it like very sparingly don't be the kid out there just throwing like you know your zips everywhere but have a little fun with it and I'm, use path like spider-man that's my <laughs> that's that's my like uh tip for you uh rampart i'm gonna say in the d category i was playing with her a little bit later like later in the season and i see the utilize like the uses for her but they're very situational um she's great for just throwing down cover when you need cover let's say you're in an open field oh i need some cover boom but also with that like i don't see a lot of moments where you utilize her ult like sheila is a great like ult but you're on a turret just sitting down it'd be different if the turret was automated to where like oh snap there's a sheila there oh that's crazy but that, that also might be a little too op so take that with a grain of salt uh watson very situational she's in the caustic category for me um i think world's edge watson is very solid to where you can just boom 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 trap up a room and you're good move to the next spot trap up a room you're good um her downfall comes with like her in fight like uh usefulness like her pylons are great because they res like not res but they kind of like heal your shields but other than that that's all she can offer to the team in you know uh like a fighting situation wraith wraith is an a tier legend she almost might be s tier if you're like really crack with her um wraith is just she's a a mobility character and I, as you can see most of the top tier legends are mobility characters characters that are like you know that can get you out from point a to point b like pathfinder zipline can get you out he also has a grappling hook to get himself out octane stems can get himself out um horizon a q can like put you on top of something can get you out like most of the top tier legends i feel like in the game have great mobility and race is right there the only thing stopping race from being an s tier is i feel like her her phase should be instant um because they nerfed her so crazy and I, or or you turn down the cooldown time on her ult so that she can use it more often right now race is, is in a very interesting spot because they've been nerfing her like for the past like what three seasons four seasons um and then next thing she apparently gets you know 
low profile removed, so we'll see how that operates. But she's in a very interesting spot. She's definitely a tier legend. The ability to understand when somebody's looking at you, you have a teleport to where, hey, we're stuck here. I'm going to phase portal, get us out of here. Like just utilizing that for great rotations as well. Like she has a lot of high uses. Um, I just hope they kind of like fix her and make her a little bit more even. Like, cause she's definitely a top tier legend. And A's not bad. A A tier is definitely not bad at all, but she should definitely be in the S tier. Uh, Revenant is in my C tier. Um, only because like you need, this is a very team operated legend to where you gotta be like, hey team, I'm putting down Dev Totem right here. And you have to put it in a, in a very good spot. If you don't, people are just gonna, you know, trap up your, your totem or wait for you to get out of it and just kill you when you pop out of death protection. So he has like the team aspect of that and his grenades are pretty solid. They stun you and you can't use them from cover as well because nobody wants to lose their abilities. Um, but there's definitely some work that has to be done. Once again, it's a team based game. So it's all about pairing, you know, legends with each other. So if you pair like, well, right now it's, uh, Rev and Octane and then whoever else you want to put in that a jump pad and death protection and you place the death protection somewhere It's crazy. So let's say for example, you have horizon Octane Revenant to where you put the death protection somewhere really high up jump pad over there in death protection Do your damage pop back and you're safe uh, Which has happened to me a couple times um So yeah, he's in he's in the C category. I think this is pretty much accurate as far as how I view the characters. Uh, I might put life on here just because right now she has a shield. Um, but other than that, this is my my legend tier list from like, you know, my first year playing Apex. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. Let me know if, hey, like you are wrong or you miss out. You miss this part about this character because once again, this is a learning video. I just want to utilize this information to help somebody new come into the game and, you know, go from there. Uh, with that being said, it's been real. I'm gonna get out of here. My name is Jay. Uh, drop a like if this video helped you out in any way. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys on the flip. It's been real. Peace out. Right, right, right.